I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you all. This is our 50th anniversary. Having a wonderful celebration. You probably know that the first of the Furphy lectures was 30 years ago. And the speaker was the Archbishop of New York named John O'Connor. <laughs> A week after the lecture, the Vatican announced that he was going to be made a cardinal. And Father Gambit loves to tell the story that he got calls from three or four bishops asking if they could give <laughs> the Furby lecture. <laughs> so we don't have to worry about that tonight, Cardinal. We're all set. I've asked our beloved bishop to make the introductions tonight. It's an honor to introduce our distinguished guest speaker to you tonight. When I think of Pope Francis's phrase, the joy of the gospel, I think of Timothy Cardinal Dolan. When I think of a church historian mentored by Monsignor John Tracy Ellis, who has an understanding of the providential arc of Catholic church history in the United States, and uses that understanding to be a prophetic missionary disciple. I think of Timothy Cardinal Dolan. When I think of a compassionate churchman communicator who is as good pastorally one-on-one -on -one as he is in front of a microphone at St. Patrick's Cathedral, Yankee Stadium, a television studio, or in St. Peter's Square, I think of Timothy Cardinal Dolan. <laughs> Cardinal Dolan served three years as president of the U United States Conference of Catholic Bishops. He led the bishops with great insight, great charity, and a legendary sense of humor. I can remember during a voting session at one of the USCCB meetings that Francis Cardinal George, the Archbishop of Chicago, and the auxiliary bishops from Chicago were sitting together right across the aisle from me. Cardinal Dolan, as the USCCB president, began his instructions to all the bishops about the vote in this way. Fellas, as you prepare to vote, if you find that you are short on ballots, you just might want to check with the bishops from Chicago. <laughs> <laughs> well, the place broke down in laughter the way you all did. And no one laughed louder or longer than Francis Cardinal George. It was a classic Timothy Dolan moment, using humor to humanize the tasks of daily life. Cardinal Dolan is not only an icon of the joy of the gospel, but he is also an icon of the laughter of the gospel. And with that, all that joy and laughter, we got a lot done. As we now get a lot done, with the Diocese of Allentown's beloved native son and current president of the USACB, yes. Archbishop Joseph Kurtz. Yes. So together, please stand and join me in welcoming His Eminence, Timothy Gardner Dolan, the Archbishop of New York. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 
introduction. You could have gone on forever. <laughs> Your people tell me you often do. <laughs> and I love the uh, Pledge of Allegiance. Thank you. Last weekend I was home for a family wedding and I have two um, grand nephews who are twins and they're both four and they were very happy to tell me that they knew the Hail Mary. So the two of them stand there. And in the name of Father and the Son of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, falls with you, with liberty and justice for all. <laughs> <laughs> they got the two of them a little mixed up, but it was okay. Uh, I've been looking forward to this for a long time. First, uh, for being with uh, Bishop Barris, a bishop whom I consider a friend, and a, a mentor and a source of wisdom. And Bishop Barris, when Father O'Connor told me that you were joining with him in the invitation, I said, I have to come. So thank you for your leadership. He's a good shepherd, isn't he? Thank you, Bishop Barris. Uh, Father O'Connor, 18 years. My, oh my, thank you for your leadership. Uh, I did some investigation on the university, and you've been a singular blessing to Catholic higher education in the United States. So thank you for your invitation and warm welcome. <laughs> you, uh, you, you know you've got an extraordinarily active and exuberant board here, and I thank them for their leadership. I, I had uh, my dinner companion this evening was uh, Doug Brown, the chairman of the board, and we thank our board, we thank our benefactors, I, uh, I thank the students here. We got so, uh, I, I was able to spend an hour or so this afternoon with some of your students, Father, as you well know, and they were extraordinarily uh, genuine and sincere and friendly and just showed an appreciation for the sales and an appreciation for, um, for Catholic higher education that moved me. So students, uh, congratulations to you. You're the best thing that we got going. Um, here at the sales when the Holy Father visited one of our inner city Catholic schools when he was just in New York when he um, arrived at the inner city Catholic school, Our Lady Queen of Angels, we had a thousand of our students kind of lined up on the street before he went into the classroom. And I said, Holy Father, would you go see our students? And he looked at me and he said, well, I didn't come to see you. So, <laughs> and he went over and met the students. So students, you, you are tremendous, and we love our students, and you're worth all of us. I think we got students from New York, don't we? Or I think we got a good number of students from New York. I think we got a good number of students from New Jersey, right? Mm -hmm. Which is simply my way of letting you all know that I hope you locked your cars this <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad to see so many brother priests, especially our oblates of St. Francis de Sales, our deacons, I see consecrated women and men, religious, I see so many uh, people here who just love the sales and who love Jesus and his church, and boy oh boy am I ever grateful to be in your company this evening. Why did I come? I came because I love St. Francis de Sales. I 